to the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame induction weekend. Tonight is one of the first of many different events for the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. We're here at the museum in historic downtown Natchitoches. Let's hear a little bit more for our 2017 Sports Hall of Fame induction class. Just look forward to the whole weekend. Being here at the museum for the first time and seeing everybody's uh, their jerseys and their hats and their cleats and their bats and footballs and just being a part of that group and to see how special a place it really is. Uh, I just look forward to everything this weekend. This is my first time stopping in Natchitoches, Louisiana. I woke up this morning and I ran a couple miles because I knew at some point between last night and Sunday, I will try to eat every Louisiana cuisine that's in Natchitoches. Realizing about all the great athletes and the great people that we have here in Louisiana and this incredible enshrinement that um, will be here forever. And um, I'm just looking forward to the fun, just getting to know the, the people that are in my class and getting to know the people that came here before me. Every time I stepped on the field, I wanted to represent Louisiana. There was no doubt about it. I just wanted to make sure that I left an impact that people would go back and, and reach in Louisiana, um, crab bucket as they call it, and, and get some of our athletes. I wanted us to be everywhere. I never thought I would have this opportunity. I mean, I heard the stories growing up and knew that my father was an amazing basketball player. He inspired me to play college ball. So to be able to be in the same category with some of these greats, I'm sure he would be thrilled. And so for me to have this opportunity to do this for him is amazing. Coming back today and walking here in Natchitoches, going through the museum, it just brings back to me what a rich history we have, what our state has. And I'm honored, I'm humbled, um, to be named as the Dave Dixon Leadership Award recipient for this year. These are true heroes. Children don't have heroes that they can look up to anymore. And here we are, right here in Louisiana, Sports Hall of Fame, the best heroes you could ever ask for. But the neat thing is you come in and you go through and you see these athletes and you learn about them and your heart is there. I'm incredibly honored, incredibly grateful. I've heard from so many friends, so many colleagues over the last few weeks. Uh, it's, just been a, it's just been a fun week already, and it's going to be even more fun as it comes in. Uh, wherever I went around in the States or whatever, always kept Louisiana heart, always wanted to make it proud. Really can't believe it still. Um, walking around the Hall of Fame and seeing all the people that's been there, I'm like, now those are real studs, man. I, like, I don't know if I, I've done enough to, uh, to be considered as a Hall of Famer, but I am, and I'm, I'm, I'm humbled and honored to do it, and um, it's just going to be a great blast. Let me begin, first of all, by, by telling you how proud and humble I am to represent the uh, hundreds of Didier boys that played at Southwestern, at LSU, and at Nichols. He taught us through his own examples of how to be successful in life, to have a good marriage, to have faith in God, and to do well in the community. You know, you look around the room, I thought I was a pretty good athlete, but I, I know I'm not as fast as Juan. I'm not ever going to be a leadoff base stealer. Eddie Kennison can catch better than I could and run faster. Whether it's a pummel horse with D.D. Bro or whether it's Calvin Morell on a horse, I hadn't been on one in over 20 years, and no horse wants me to be on there, so I, that's not going to be it. I was a six foot five post player at Menard High, and I look at C.A. Core, he, he was a six foot five center in basketball in the mid 60s and still holds records for points and rebounds in a career. Jim Henderson and Dan McDonald, a Hall of Fame journalist, that's probably never going to happen. Ed Reed, you know, one of the greatest safeties ever. That's why I didn't want to play tight end in college, because that guy was going to hit me. Uh, so it, this is a special group, people from all sorts of, uh, of backgrounds. This is a great class. We're thrilled to have everybody here. We've got a lot of great events. You have not had a chance to visit this area and this, this Hall of Fame, then you're missing out. Natchitoches as a city is, is beautiful, and this Hall of Fame is just one of the most incredible uh, displays that, that I've seen. Got everything I need, nothing that I don't. Everything I need, nothing that I don't.